Broken Promises. That's the that's is that the name of the show. That's today? the name of the show today. Broken Promises. Scoot over a little bit. Come on, get over here. This way, my way. Is this yeah. Good? Uh, so welcome everybody. Let's get an air horn for the end of the season. Do we have audio? Is everything going? We've got some moistness already happening in the uh, the chat section over there. Moist is the it's what the people love. People love that word out here. So. Juicy, moist. Who wants pancakes? We're making pancakes over at the, the Greenspan family right now. So Sloan wanted some pancakes. And what your three-year-old wants, usually she gets because um, that's just kind of how it works, I think. I didn't know you weren't supposed to say, so, no, we're not making pancakes Because we're right making now. pancakes. We're just not going to make them right this second. So Uncle Kai comes in uh, late, as usual. Well, no, I guess he was right on time. Yeah. So he comes in. Sloan is like, you know, getting ready to like do her thing and... Kyle comes up and goes, no, you can't have pancakes. And she's going to start she screaming. Said, she said, can I one have minute pancakes? Before, one minute before the show. <laughs> I said, no, we can't have pancakes right now. We're going to do the show. Because I thought you're supposed to tell the truth. So, um, Yeah, so we tell the truth. We tell the truth. But you, it's like, maybe not right this second. Okay. Anyway, welcome to Tuesday, the last episode of 2021. We've got an awesome show for everybody. Really exciting stuff that we're going to be talking about today. Um... We've got a special guest. Also, I did a little tally. Um, Approximate retail value of everything that we've given away in the show. And uh, that's the number right there this year. Wow. Yeah, that's pants, goggles, sticker packs, t-shirts, t-shirt packages, gloves. Did I say goggles already? Uh, Of course, I I added up all the headbands as well. So we've given away a ton of... Probably like 20. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's still. Isn't that crazy? Well, I was just thinking, what are we going to do? Like a trivia or something? Yes, like yes, yes. We're exact gonna... number? Exact number, exact number, exact like number. That. Um, And then obviously threw in some extra emojis. And from the emojis, I think you guys all can tell who the guest is for this evening. And uh, really excited because it's going to help um, clarify or dry up some of the moistness that we dropped last week. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so shout out to everybody and then we're going to give a, ne- a special shout out to all of our um, uh, members. Uh, uh, you like in the bottom line. The yeah, li- yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, damage is effed. <laughs> um, shout out to Alpha Dog. Yeah, boy. Nice, and Alpha you. Dog, you just, um, I packaged up and we packaged up. Kyle packaged up. I labeled up uh, your package and it's going out with a sticker sheet and, uh, and, a, and some bands for you guys. Um, yeah, Lola, I think pretty much everybody 
cringes when they hear the word moist. Yeah. Um, I don't like the word moist. I don't like it either. It's kind of funny to say because it obviously offends people. Yeah. To a certain extent. But uh, some of you guys like it. Yeah. We can just stick to juicy. We can stick to juicy. I'm happy with juicy. (laughs) Um, and, uh, also speaking of sticker sheets, I'm, we have a couple of giveaways. I actually found these in our JT box, uh, a big thing of JT stickers. All uh, right. So we're going to throw these things in. I think they fit perfectly inside the little mailers. There's already an entire sticker sheet inside of Sloan's, um, princess house, Sloan's princess house. So yeah. Uh, speaking of which, hope everybody had a wonderful Merry Christmas. Uh, if you guys celebrate Christmas, if not. I hope you had a great day that day because everything was closed, mm-hmm. um, except for Chinese food and Vons. And Vons is also open, so we ended up going to dinner at a nice, uh, really. That nice, was the best Chinese food I've had in San Diego. That place actually. is that place is a top yeah. place. And I actually was a little disappointed, maybe a little bit with the service, but wasn't totally happy um, with everything. But yeah, Steve Grundy suggested we use damp instead of place damp. <laughs> Some damp news. We got some damp news. Kind of sounds like dope. We got some dope news. Yeah, I got damp. that damp stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think damp is a good thing. That's like <laughs> almost moldy. Yeah. I got some moldy true. news. Yeah. Could be good. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll nail something down uh, probably next year. <laughs> yeah, shout out to TRG Goat. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the donation and support. Um, so, on, on the list of stuff before we get our... Um, uh, our guest on the horn because we want to get him on earlier rather than later because um oh look at that logan hansel's in the house um want to get him on sooner rather than later because sometimes uh the conversation's so good that it ends up going for a long time so may as well get him here oh also uh shout out to mr bruce cook for sending us um some terrible things to eat and i'm gonna uh say that kyle's already I'm already mad at Kyle slightly because this was his idea, even though I know that we all know that he said he would never do it again. But um, who you? You're like I'm never doing this. Don't ever. Let's never do yeah, this. Yeah, but again. I did say like after like four or five months, I forget. Yeah. What type of pain happens? So yeah. then I um, just take it on again. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're gonna be eating something terrible today, and you guys are gonna enjoy it, whether you like it or not. I wish hot. that we had gotten this sooner. Because then I would have sent Nick one, and oh, then he could pepper. have eaten it with us. Yeah, yeah. So we've got peppers. We've got. Um, we can always we've have got these. We've got Camille eat one with us. Oh yeah. Maybe we have Camille eat one. We have yeah. Sloan eat one. She won't know. Yeah, we could put it in the pancakes. Mm-hmm. I'll take two thousand dollars this round. Two thousand dollars. Yes, this is the oh spicy news. We got spicy news because we don't like spicy stuff. Yeah. There we go. All right, so. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on here and exciting for the show. Uh, really quickly, uh, the I believe the combine, the paintball combine, is, there's three or four spots left. So if you guys are procrastinating or you're holding on to your Christmas loot and you're thinking about uh, entering, I know that as of yesterday or the day before, there were only five spots filled or five spots left. Let's sorry. Go quick. So um, you want to register paintballcombine.com sooner rather than later. And yes, Ryan, we're not gonna we're not gonna give Sloan a pepper. <laughs> I locked it in her in her microwave uh, oven uh, compartment up here in her little her little cooking area. Okay. Not locked because you can open it. But yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna. We'll not forget those. You, we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna leave them in there. So unless there's like a crazy earthquake or something that scared us and we had to leave the house. Mm-hmm. And then and we then forgot. And then we came and back. Came and we're like, whoa, that earthquake yeah. was crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's crazy you say that because yeah. I've just gotten two letters about earthquakes. Really? Yeah, earthquake insurance, oh, which oh. we don't have because you don't really need it. You don't think we should unless get they're it. thinking about it. Something crazy is happening. If there's mm. an earthquake, then that means we know that there's some what's going on here. Or a tornado. <laughs> yeah, a road tornado in San Diego. Uh, it says, watch out for Corey James at the Combine, best athlete coming out of Sacramento. You got it. Get money. We're going to be watching him pick. And Dizon in the house. Dizon, uh, we went to the post office and shipped everything out except for your package. His package is that purple box right there. I forgot to put it in the box of stuff. So I need to drop that off at the post office tomorrow. Um, so expect a purple box with your massage gun. Dizon was actually one of the top winners so far uh, on the show as far as stuff, but I still it goes. Also one of the first uh, people to sign up. Yeah, also one of the first people to sign first up. Members. Yeah, that last the last win for him uh, put him over the top. But uh, number one 
We've got uh, Richard Ur- Uran, U R A N. Richard, he's gotten the he's gotten the most booty out of the show. Wow. Goggles, couple of jerseys, pair of pants, the whole deal. He's he's crushing it on the on the wheel spinning. Oh, these whoa. are for us. These are for us. Yeah. Okay. Well, can we should, should we should we save it? I want to save mine. Yeah. Can I save mine? Till... This is not for you. Oh. This is not broken promises. Wait, can we have that? Wait, it was. You just we said that they were for us. Later. Let me know. Okay, can you eat a keep hot it pepper. quiet. Quiet down. Quiet down. You can watch the show. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Don't sop up all the bandwidth, huh? All right. So, anyway. We didn't fall for her trick, though. She tried to... No. Like, we, no don't not, yeah, we don't want those pancakes. Yeah. Come on, get those we pancakes. We got spicy peppers. Yeah, we got spicy peppers, dude. We don't want to waste our... We don't want to ruin our appetites. <laughs> Camille is not the special guest. Yes, and Richard, it has been a minute since you've won... Uh, your name's still on the list, but uh, but you went you got you got you went big in the beginning. You better stay on there. So I'm gonna get. Uh, let's see if we can even. Oh, there he is, Nick Sloviak. Nick Sloviak is the guest today. Um, I don't even know if I can call. Coming him. in with some some uh, spicy rumors. Do I have WhatsApp on this thing? Oh, dude, I don't even have WhatsApp. So we got to get WhatsApp downloaded here. Um, oh, you can't get it on here. You could. Um, do you have Instagram on there? Mm-hmm. You might be able to FaceTime on Instagram. Oh, FaceTime him on Instagram. Oh, we can FaceTime him because he doesn't have FaceTime. Uh, even though all of my friends and uh, and I forgot I was still doing on this thing. Uh, <laughs> family, I guess you could say, who have those stupid Android phones, they can still get FaceTime. Interesting. But Nick, for some reason, cannot. So let's go into Facebook. And oh yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Okay, Nick, we're calling you on. Uh, I don't know how. I don't even know how this works. Official Nick Sloviak. Nope. Let's go to just Nick Sloviak. So Kyle, what did you? Uh, any cool stuff that you got uh, for uh, for Christmas? Uh, my nicest gift. I got this. Oh wow! Uh, wow! Yeah. Nice new MacBook Pro. Look at that thing. This thing is awesome. The graphics are insane. Super fast. Super my, fast. My last one was a, it was a little, kick in the bucket. Little, um, let's see here. How about you? Um, yeah, we got some snowboard stuff for the helicopter flight that we're going to take uh, soon here. Uh, we're going to go on the helicopter trip in about well, a Alex month. Alex is going, right? Yeah, in, a, in almost in one month, we're going to go, uh, we're gonna go and, and uh, jump in a, in a helicopter. And then get flown to the top of mountains, and then snowboard down them. Wow! Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, is it like uh, uncharted terrain? Uh, well, they know the areas, right? They know they know the areas, but they don't. Uh, you know, I, I don't know a whole lot about it, to be completely honest with you. Um, oh, this is a nice ringtone. Oh, you want to grab a book? Yeah. Uh, for here. There he is. All right, we got Nick Sloyak. So um, here we go. Uh, so Nick, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, Ryan? Oh, there we go. Let me turn your turn your audio up. Okay, so special guest for today. Welcome everybody, Nick Slowiak. Let's uh, let's get a little air horn here. Kyle's gonna get because uh, I know you're short. Um, so Kyle is gonna grab a couple of books for you to stand on, oh, so you wow. can so you can yeah phone books, so you can be at our level um, for once <clears throat> in, your, in your life. I like that. Yeah, yeah, we, we're 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 inclusive over here to to people of your uh, your height uh, deficiencies. deficiencies, the problems that you have with your height. So, okay, here we go. What I, appreciate, we I appreciate you looking out for me. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's something that we like to we like to make sure we we feel everybody here. Oh, look at that, and boom, let's see ya. Can we see you? And I can bright. see you. It's like I'm behind the, the scenes. Light? Uh, it's behind the. You're behind. You are behind the scenes, actually. I know. Uh, that's why I said it. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're good. So, uh, shout out everybody, Nick Sloviak, long time. Merry Christmas, to y'all. Long time watcher, first time caller. Is that correct? Yeah, long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, long time listener. Yeah, but you watch it, so you're you're kind of like a I watch a, it. Long time viewer. I, I am a member. Uh huh. Pay monthly. We, we appreciate I, uh, that support. Do super stickers and super chats. I'm I'm hoping yeah. that that, uh, we appreciate that it. one of these days your your name gets called on the wheel for a dynasty yeah, jersey. Yeah, what the heck, man? You were listing off people that win stuff, and I was like, 
How are the same people winning things? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got we've got a pretty big uh, list of people who win stuff, but because the list of names, and just so everybody else out there knows, is ever-changing, right? So people drop off, people join, the, the list is always changing. So if it was just like the same list and we spun it like 100 or 200 times, and obviously people are going to get like chosen a little bit more, I would call it at random, but because the, the list is constantly mixed up, your position changes on that list, so... You know the odds kind of change. I mean, we'd have to. You took stats one hundred and one. You probably know all that uh, mathematics stuff. Forgot it already. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's also uh, it's also it's also really tough to to uh, to figure that one out. But it is not actually. I have I have a full comprehensive list of. Uh, you can see this here, Nick, on your screen of, of who who wins stuff and who does not. And uh, I think Nick sees back here actually. Yeah, that's true. No, no, he sees. No, he sees this. Anyway, anyway, long story short, um, what we uh, one of the reasons that we called you is uh, is how are the Ironmen looking? What's going on for, for for Let's just get straight to the nitty gritty right now. Let's just cut the chit chat. You know what I mean? Well, they're looking kind of red. <laughs> uh, Did we drop a bunch of false rumors last last week? Um. I didn't hear the end of the show when you had Quinn on. <laughs> well, I guess you were in I there. Can, I, confer- I confirmed. The, like, I don't. I don't like to deal in rumors. Right. I don't like. Uh, I don't like when people come asking for stuff. Either I can tell you, I can't tell you, um, or I'll just be like, "Look, this is that's ridiculous." Like, I don't even. Wherever you heard that from, do quit reading into that. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> last weekend you guys were talking about. Uh, LJ Parrish and John Jackson. Um, and neither of these have been officially announced, I guess, to either platform, but they, they both have left to have departed the Ironman. John Jackson is uh, taking a break mm-hmm. for next season. He's getting married in, I think, like three weeks. Mm-hmm. And he's just got a lot of stuff going on in his life. And LJ uh, is probably going to go play for somebody. We don't know who yet or what he's going to do. Now, hey, look, they both have told us that they're, they're not playing with the Ironman. They both have left. Um, but as of yet, uh, LJ Parrish hasn't joined the team uh, that's been made official. And John Jackson, I'll say, could get hungry and want to play paintball again and could either choose to play with the Ironman or play with somebody else. So uh, they both could come back to the team. You know, it's not 2022 yet, but – they have both told everyone on the team that they're no longer a part of it. So I think those are the two big rumors from last weekend. Uh, so, and then something Ryan about me, like in my, my profile picture, you said something about that. I just so made I that up. <laughs> I, I, I know you did. And I, did you see what I did? Uh-uh, did you, you, know, change- you know, so if you go, if you go back to my, if you go to my Facebook page, I made your picture, my Facebook profile picture and no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> no one said anything. No, I was, I I was say, just hey, that's on. That's Ryan. No, it's not. So if you go to my Facebook page, the official Nick Sloviak? My Facebook page. No, that's my that's my like my athlete page. If you go to just Nick Sloviak. Okay, let's check it out. I can't even find you on here. Oh yeah, that's me. Like my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The only saving grace is that I cut out as much of the HK as possible and I have the die goggles on. Mm. <laughs> I see. <coughs> that's yeah, funny. I mean, no one, no one, no one said, "Hey, that's not you." <laughs> Which is funny. So, but yeah, I think those are the rumors, Kyle. Right? Was there anything else? Uh, Peyton. Oh yeah, the Peyton's gone. Oh, so Pey- Peyton is is uh, should be shipping off to the Air Force. Ship shipping him. Third ship shipping. Flying off. Uh, flying. <laughs> flying off. Flying off to the Air Force. No, the Navy. Navy. I'm sorry. Shipping off. The Navy. Shipping oh, off. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, shipping off to the Navy. So let's just let's just really confirm and clarify. All right, no more LJ on the Ironman, no more John Jackson on yep. the Ironman, no more Peyton Tabata. Mm-hmm. Fran texted me specifically and said we're only looking to pick up one guy. We're fine. So you just lost three guys, um, and three of them were starters. Well, Peyton wasn't a starter. He was he was up there though, right? Uh, I mean, we only have seven guys on the team anyway. So okay, yeah. okay. So you got four. So you're looking to pick up one guy. Um, what about why were you texting with why were you texting with Fran? I think that's the more, more important thing. Uh, because we're trying to pick him up to um, <laughs> to <laughs> scout. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have him scout uh, for us, and uh, we want to use actually we want to use the nicer 
fluffy field that you guys play on. Um, but we should be able to we should be able to get a little bit of time in there if you only have four guys. You know, kind of kind of get as much time as you want, right? So you guys are only looking for one guy. So a five man oh. roster for the next year. Um, and Christian Martinez is also going to be taking some uh, time off. I did I did get confirmation. What about Celos? What about Celos? Oh yeah, Celos. Uh, I don't know what he's doing yet. <clears throat> I did I did uh, practice with him before I, I moved out of Florida. We played uh, two days in a row at Hollywood or in Hollywood, California, uh, Extreme Rage Paintball Park, and he was made an offer uh, from the Latin Saints, and he just has to figure out what he's going to do. And he did get a, he did get a, he got a sizable offer from the Latin Saints. I think the Latin Saints have got a lot of money that they're throwing around, and, and I believe Quinn said something like around thirty thousand dollars, and that's cash. That's not uh, that's not Uncle Sam's money. That's Celos's loot or whomever plays on that team. So that's yeah, a pretty good. I, you know, I I was told some numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say this is one of those things like rumor or not. That's not something that I'm I'm gonna just openly just throw out there. That's so like, just want to say that Dizon is pretty active in the chat. I'm not sure if you can see him, but that's he 600, is, I cannot pesos. see the chat. That's six hundred thousand pesos. Six hundred thousand pesos. <laughs> just to, just to clarify that, um, Dizon says that he specifically loves the rumors um so that uh, of course he does people yeah. do love rumors mm-hmm. so i'm just just people letting, love drama just letting you know uh do you talk to christian martinez ever because i did talk to uh uh mama t and he did stop playing i thought he was like he, he was like the guy that like he was like a snowball he got better and better and bigger and big well not bigger and bigger but i think better and better as uh, as the events went on um but uh i think he played really well for you guys until he got injured obviously but uh, I do know he did not have to have surgery, so that's a good thing. Um, but he did uh, get a position with the Department of Defense, so um, that's jeez. probably yeah, jeez. Um, so that's probably going to eat into his possible playing time, just practicing and stuff like that. So I know he's doing that sort of thing. Um, not sure exactly what his plans are yeah. for twenty twenty two. Yeah, after the after the Philly event. Um, uh-huh. When he was coming off an injury, uh-huh. he had some personal stuff come up and took a break. And with in getting a job and having other, uh, let's call them now adult responsibilities, paying for bills, um, rent, car insurance, car payments, uh, he just didn't have uh, the ability to be playing paintball as much as you would need to mm-hmm. um, at the pro level. And so with that, he's had to take a step back and focus on those uh, realities of life. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah. Another room, a rather rumor. Hit it. I heard that Harney Sushi is the best sushi spot in San Diego. Mm. Uh, it's nope. up there. It's up there. I would put it in the top 10. Five? five. Ten? Yeah. Yeah. I heard you talking about Chinese food for Christmas. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that you're from the Midwest, so um, that, that can be confused as between the difference between Chinese food and Japanese food. Um uh, but it, sushi and Chinese food are, are there's a stark difference between the two. But um, well, I just brought up the sushi thing as a rumor because I like sushi and that's the only place I've been to in San Diego. Oh, and the, then, the like, good one is sushi ota. Yeah. sushi ota is um, is probably the best one. Top three for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the one you. The want other to ones to. I don't we don't but, I don't know but, I haven't but been to. Ota doesn't have the Harney type of menu items. Harney sure, is yeah. like. Fun rolls. That's their that's their little deal here. Do you think Can you get like the oven on or the? Well, there's it was a lot of smoke in there. There's a lot of smoke in here. Yeah, I can follow the Yeah, do you want to check that? I think she might have left like a pan on or something. She likes to cook cook only at high. Chat pace. sound off. Is the oven on or is the oven off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's just Place your bets. Yeah, let's open a window. Um, <laughs> sushi on Sunset in Hollywood. Um, let's see. So. Right now, it's it. The Ironman roster is Nick Sloviak, Corey Hall, and who else? Oh, Al, Al, Al? and that's it, huh? And maybe Silos. Maybe Silos. Okay, so definitely gonna need. But I do, and I do believe you guys are having practice slash tryouts January twentieth weekend, twenty second weekend. Twenty second. Mhm. Mm-hmm. The twenty second, twenty third. Can Ryan and I come out? Of course you can. Thanks, dude. What's the cost? 
entry in a case of paint? Um, I know what my cost is. More expensive. What's the cost? Mine's more than your guys'. I know that. Oh, we have to pay you for you to come out? No, 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 no. no. I, I, have to pay, I have to pay you I guys know. more than normal. I know what you meant. Uh, wow. The cost will be you have to give away an Ironman item on your show. Let's do it. We can give an and Ironman item away uh, on the show today if you want. Actually, don't yeah. you have um, – do you want to do a, a viewer poll? Are we even allowed to talk about what uh, what, you, what we were talking about on the, on the phone? Yeah, I'm just – I mean, can you put post those images up? I sure can. Um uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you you sent them to me? I don't know where they went though. Uh, I sent them to you through Instagram. Will you text Instagram. them to me real quick, and I'll I'll put them up there, and then we can talk a little bit about it. Because uh, um, actually, Dizon also asked about some sort of denim headbands that you got you're you're releasing. Headbands are hot right now. <laughs> yeah. So I have uh, when I was an employee of Core, I had made uh, headbands, uh, JT mm-hmm. headbands. And I'm in the process of trying to figure out the best outlet to get get those uh, out on the marketplace. Okay, okay. So we do have denim headbands uh, somewhere out there. Um, hey, she was over there the whole time. And the dog? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. All sorts of stuff going on here. Um, and then, so we've got that. And then you've got another project which you work on pretty regularly, which is your barrel drops, correct? Yeah, so being <clears throat> being on the Ironman, obviously being sponsored by Dye, uh, they have allowed me to create uh, barrels, barrel tips, jerseys, um, and a bunch of other products that should be coming out uh, this next year. Which cool, is pretty sweet. Um, so I just text you, just text you some pictures. All right, let's see it. Let's see what you got here. All right, we haven't gotten them yet, so it's probably your slow connection on that Google I, Android Pixel knew, Five that you have. <laughs> But once enough. once it goes into the Google <laughs> Cloud and it is it is transcribed, downloaded, uploaded, and then sent over to the secure network that Apple has, it's going to have to make sure there's no viruses in it because um, you guys are known for how dirty um, you guys are. <clears throat> um, and then it'll it'll probably go through the cloud a couple times and then filter out into my phone. So when I see it is things, snowing here in Wisconsin, so that might cause uh there we go cause some issues. There we go. Um, all right, let me find out. Let me find these pictures from you. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll bring both of these photos up, and then we're gonna. What are we gonna do with them? We're just gonna look at them, or we're gonna we're gonna vote on which one we like the best. We can, we can vote. We can vote. Which one people like the best? Let's okay. vote. Give us um give us a little bit of uh, information on when, what, what are the, the names of these things? It's gonna take me a second to get them both. Uploaded from the cloud. I still haven't even so got a text message. Going back again to uh, when I was working for GI, I was working with Billy Bernacci on creating uh, snake pattern items. He wanted to do a snakeskin pants and a goggle and, and various other things, some of which he's created with JT on it. And um, and then dealing with Yeah Yeah all the time, <laughs> who is the Leopard King for HK in Houston Heat. Uh, that got me to thinking with barrels, why not do a series of animal tip barrels, barrel themes. And so I had submitted two different patterns to die and they had sent them back to me. Uh, and so that is what you should be seeing. Yeah. These are, are, are 19, 19 inch barrels. 15.9 die ULC barrels. ULC, ULS. UL, ULS, I think. Yeah, yeah, you do owe us for this plug. <laughs> oh, yeah. You owe us. Die, you owe us. Dude, the Die, you owe us series. If you, <laughs> if you get one of these barrels, you owe us. All right. Let's bring these things up on here on the big screen. It's still a picture of Ryan's face, uh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Do you have your, do you, is your, whatchamacallit working? People want to see your beautiful face. Your beautiful face. We want to see that beard of yours. Oh, you can't see me? No, no. no we all we can Ryan. see is me, which, I mean, I'm, I'm always a fan of looking at myself a lot, but 
We see your oh, weird. Uh, your Facebook profile. Photos. All right, so we've got a top one and a bottom one. Everybody, we're gonna drop yeah, here. Go on, <laughs> I was joking. Uh, we're gonna drop here exclusively on the Spick and Span show, uh, and we'll vote. I guess so everybody will just kind of like in the comments. <laughs> get guess. ready. Which one you guys like the most? I mean, are both of these made? Or are you guys gonna, are you gonna make both of these? Or uh, I don't know yet. <clears throat> I do. I do have. I'll tell you this. I do have one in production, like going into production. Mm-hmm. But if, uh, well, if well, 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 hopefully, well, well, hopefully, hopefully, everybody chooses. Maybe it'll be more of a guess of which one is going into production and which one is not. So number one is the. Well, well, we'll just Ryan, say the top of the Let's not forget you voted earlier on this. I did. I did. I think so I voted which for one the, do you. Which one I, do you think? I think the top one is the one you should go into. Uh, top one for sure. For sure. That's definitely hands down. That's definitely unanimous. Uh, yeah, unanimous. TKO. Um, that matches very well with the leopard, um, look for, uh, women in their fifties that are single or just ready to mingle. Or or recently, recently divorced. divorced. Yeah. Yeah. You want to wear a pair of leggings. You want to wear like, (laughs) you want to wear the pants and either a legging or a, uh, a jacket or a pair of shoes. And then you want to wear couple that or with die ATCs. yeah yeah or die at a u o me <laughs> series ultralight um, they're both snake print Nick yeah so the top one uh, if you were to zoom in on it is more like a python mm. and then the other one is just probably one of your most generic like snakeskin patterns that would pop up on. like what kind of snake you said generic so like a, a garden I, I, I garden tell snake you, like, again it's one of those things where when when you get into printing stuff like this and selling it you know you can't just so you don't know what type artwork. of snake it is yeah you're, you're, you're the put, bottom one you're no, pushing the, the snake but you don't know what type of snake it is i mean that looks it's not like a diamondback you know what i mean be something a little bit more mean here nick than a gopher snake it could be like a desert okay. uh oh. desert sand swiper yeah. The sand swiper. Yeah. Does anybody out here know? Um, John, Jonathan Padilla said, "I guess I'm a 59 year old single woman." <laughs> <laughs> West Coast um, trouser snake. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> so top python is is getting the most votes. So, um, it is it, well. See, the top one is just a little bit more recognizable. As a snake skin, the other there's one. no mistake in it, right? There's no mistake. Yeah. There's no mistake in it. So yeah, I think the top one. Yeah. So you probably went with the bottom one, right, Nick? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yes, Sarah. This is uh, that is Nick Sloyak right there. I know it's hard to tell because um, his head keeps popping up to a picture of of me. And does it, does it keep doing that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every time that you scroll out of your. Uh, Every time that yeah. you're checking your text messages because you're bored of talking oh, to I, us. I, went, I actually went into the YouTube thing to see what the people were saying. Oh, the best way to do, I think, is put it on your computer. Yeah, unfortunately, of... I, don't, I don't have one of those set up yet oh. in my move from Florida to Wisconsin. Ah, that's right. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of Wisconsin, has the ice frozen over enough for you to go skating? Is the ice ready yet? No, and it just was started snowing today. There's about four and a half inches on the ground. Oh wow! Just started snowing, huh? Uh, today, it did. today is the first actual snowfall, like mm-hmm. serious snowfall. Okay. Where the snow has stuck to the ground. Uh, Logan Hans, I know you can't read the, the comments, but uh, Logan Hansel says hi. <laughs> hi, Logan Hansel. <laughs> um, he said hi. <laughs> All right. What else are we talking about? This isn't very juicy. Okay. But you got. I thought yeah, you yeah. you had the rumors. Yeah. Well, we're just talking about how well, the, the Ironmen are crippled. The, rumors, the well, Ironmen are crippled. Rumors, is what we're talking about. Um, so where are you going to go? You're in Wisconsin. Let's. How about Infamous? Infamous is a good no. aftershock. Awesome Back to aftershock. Back to aftershock. Give them a pro spot. Um, I heard you were going to go to aftershock. Yeah. What about Revo? No. Or he told them no. You told them no. Oof. Dynasty? Oof. What about... I know yeah. that they're looking for a coach, though. Revo's looking for a coach? Okay. Did Revo lose any players to Damage? Did you hear anything about that? Uh, I heard Damage has asked a lot of people. They did ask Silos to go to play for him. Um, but Oof. I did not hear... Did not hear of anyone leaving Revo. I know Darula was uh, almost... 
exiting that camp, but he has decided to stay. Where was he going to go? Um, I had heard either X Factor, Damage, or uh, mm-hmm. heard maybe even, maybe even Dynasty. I heard he was going to, yeah, I think that... Um, maybe it was Dynasty. Uh, I think that What's-His-Name called somebody, uh, Joey <laughs> called somebody and said that they got two players from, from Revo. Uh, not too long ago, that mm. was the that was the inside news that I heard. Um, oh, Joey called somebody. Yeah, yeah. Joey See, after said, that, hey, last... I just called to tell you that we picked up two people from Revo. <laughs> after that yeah, last yeah, show, I was, trying to I get was people... hyping Drew up. Everyone decided to call him. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Everyone started to call him. And going back to watch the game footage. The, sta- like, the spig and span bump. Oh yeah, right. that's right. You said that. I remember that. We've been yeah. sleeping. Yeah. yeah. So. Can you move that uh, red red line? It's bugging me for some reason. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Whatever I don't know why. Yeah, 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 no yeah. one can see it. But I know no one can see it. But there you go. There, okay. there you go. Yeah, there we go. That's oh, nice. that's a good yeah, one. Now good. you're in a circle. Yeah. Now. yeah. All right. Um, and then let's see what happens with the Dallas guys. Oh, the AC Dallas. What what's up with the AC Dallas, Nick? Uh, I heard that they're looking for a new coach. Okay. Okay. But they're going to be in semi pro. Uh, they will be in semi pro unless there's any other crazy shakeups in the league that would allow them to come up. Although I'm not sure how that would work now um, because in years past, it's always been the, the next lowest. The next <clears throat> well, it's either been, it's either been like the, the next semi pro team comes up or the previous pro team can stay. It all depends on if a pro team is leaving. So say the red Legion, Russian Legion are not playing in the U S in 2022. That would either allow the hurricanes to come up I believe the Hurricanes are next in semi-pro, or it would Last mean that camp. AC Dallas gets to keep their spot. I don't, I don't know honestly who who the rankings in semi-pro. I don't know who's took second in the series. Okay. I thought it was either the Hurricanes or it could be Blast Camp. I'm not sure. Wait, who came up again? Hur- the other Hurricanes? Uh, the 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 yeah, south, yeah, southern the New the England Louisiana, 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 yeah, Louisiana, yeah. yeah, the Louisiana Gumbo Canes. <laughs> um, Logan Hansel says AC Dallas is going to be playing semi-pro under the name of Paintball Fit. Man, we need to call Logan. I'll get Logan Hansel on here. We should get yeah, Logan. Yeah, he's got more. He's got more dust than um, any more <laughs> more dampness than Nick <laughs> dust. <does>. Dust. <laughs> he got <laughs> damp news or dust. <laughs> Dusty news. Damp or dust. Um, who's calling you? Uh, Archie. Sorry, dude. We don't have time for Archie. We could have pulled him up. You could be. You could just text text Archie and be like, "Hold on, I gotta. Oh, let me finish. Let me time. call you back. Let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> the New yeah, England Hurricanes. Oh wait, the Nor'easters. New England Nor'easters. Oh, so the Oysters. I don't know what what Richie's nor, talking nor, about. Nor Nor'easters. Richie's talking about. Um, so I don't think Blast Camp is going pro, and yeah. uh, and that's because yeah. So I wonder if that I do, would. I do know that they are looking. I do. I do know that Blast Camp is looking actively looking for players, and they are looking to buy a pro spot. Mm. I know that for sure. And if if anything, I mean that the topic of selling a pro spot for fifty grand. That's been a, a hot topic. Damn, it's fifty grand. Tell them to call me. Well, that's what I got that's a spot. What trade my gun, so their spot for. I got a spot. Dynasty for sale. <laughs> what if you guys merged? Blast Camp, Ironman. Mm-hmm, Obviously, mm-hmm. you don't have to change the name. I know Dave wouldn't be okay I, with Iron that. Iron Blast? No, it would be Ironman. But... Blast Iron. <laughs> Blast Iron. You're no fun, Kyle. Just have some fun with that. Lo- right. Logan, yeah, Logan's trying to buy your spot right now. But <laughs> yeah. What is Ironman doing with their spot? <laughs> I believe that the Ironman we just heard are, are, are healthy and strong as ever. They just a uh, little short-handed, but they're having they're having practice. Dude, they should tryouts, do. Tryouts. You should do at World Cup like, uh, you could play for pinks. Mm. You play a match against the semi pro team, and if the semi pro team loses, they have to give you fifty grand. But if they win, they, they get your spot. pro spot. Whoa, that's a genius idea. That is gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's almost like a relegation round. Yeah, and then if you win and you get yeah. the fifty grand, you could still sell your spot. Well, you have to sell your spot. No, I no, think you no, only, no, no. Only so like, if, if you beat this, if you're the pro team mm-hmm. and you beat the semi pro team that yeah. wants to get your spot, you get their fifty grand, but you could still sell your spot because if you're planning to sell it anyways. No, but you have to sell it to that team. I think. I don't think they just. But they lose. They don't. Well, this is a work in progress, guys. This is a work no, if you yeah, the pro team, about? if you're the pro team. Okay, listen to this. Listen okay, to this so new rule. say you're a semi pro team and you want my pro spot. Yeah. 
I'll play you for it. We'll play a match. Mm-hmm. If I win, you don't get my pro spot, and you have to give me fifty grand. So you're paying fifty grand just to hopefully. Yeah. But no, no, no. But if the semi pro team, if Nick's semi pro team beats my yeah. pro team, I have to just give it up with no money. I think you should have to yeah. give it up either way. You either give it up for free if they beat you, or you give it up for fifty grand if you beat them. You get so so because otherwise the semi pro team's out of fifty grand, and then you're like, no, because yeah. you could just get the fifty grand anyways. To Without sell to playing, him. yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the whole point. Why would you? Why would I you? think well, maybe it should be like ten, maybe it should be like ten fifty. So there's like there's a buyout or there's so if like you're te- a big buyout. Texas yeah, like, Chainsaw hey, Outlaws, I, and yeah. and you want to sell your what? spot anyways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you play the uh, Saints, Latin Saints. Mm-hmm. Yep. But if you beat them, they just have to get you fifty grand, and they don't get your pro spot, and then you can go sell it to someone else so you get another 50 another grand. fifty grand. Or you go uh-huh. sell it for whatever but you want. But see, what I'm saying is if you, if you add like two levels of payment, like, okay, I want to buy your... So it's basically there has to be a suitor and and the buyer, right? Mm-hmm. So you're you're the Latin Saints and you want to buy the Ch- Texas Ch- Chainsaw Massacre Outlaws. Spot. Spot. And we know that the Outlaws are selling their spot. They're actively selling it. So yeah. you can pay me 50 grand right now, right? Or you could play me for it. No, sorry. You pay me 10 grand now. Or you play me for it. If I beat you, you have to give me. I'll give you the spot anyway. But you have to pay me fifty grand if I beat you. Otherwise, if you beat me, you get it free. Or you can just pay for it straight across the table for ten k. That's how the transaction should go. I I went back to mine. But you're you're adding. You're adding another tier because that way you don't get the fifty k no matter what. There should be like something like the league should be like, all right, they have to step in and be like, okay, you guys want the spot. You can only sell it for ten grand right now, or you guys have to play for it. If the Latin Saints beat you, you get it for free. If the well, Texas the Chainsaw Outlaws beat you... Yeah, Lee doesn't get to say. Ryan's making this yeah. too complicated. Well, I'm just making way it... too complicated. Yeah, I'm just making... I'm just, yeah, I'm just adding on. You should eat that pepper, so this way you can... Yeah, we're going to... Hey, well, the thing what, we, what we of like... Ha- to- what kind of hot items do you got in your house? Aside from, like, mustard and stuff. Yeah. Uh, horseradish. I, I want you to... That's, all, that's the spiciest thing you got in there. I hate horseradish. Okay, you got you got a horseradish. Got it my house, I can't so, even say it right. Do you, do uh, you like, sauerkraut. Do you like um, like wasabi? Sour and some no, I don't like wasabi. Oh no shit. Yeah. Mm. You don't like wasabi or, or you never horseradish? see me. I don't even I don't even like to mix it in the soy sauce. No, 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 no. Okay. Is that because you just don't like the spice or the flavor? Uh, I'm not a big fan of the flavor, I, but I've heard that like a lot of wasabi at most. Um, sushi restaurants is not that good. So I will have it at a good, when it's like good quality wasabi. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. It doesn't really taste that good. So, either. well, Nick, I wanted, so I wanted to be, if I had gotten these peppers a little earlier, I was going to send you one. Um, but unfortunately, even if I had overnighted it to you, I don't even know if it would have gotten there on time. Um, but now we're just going to, we're going to yeah. put one in your, in your but, goggles. But Bruce, it was nice because when, when he sent this stuff over, he gave me some instructions uh, as well. Um, Bruce is a, oh is a ref gosh. out of the uh, Georgia area, and he grows peppers in his in his in his patio. Don't um, do it. Did you eat anything? Uh, I had like a breakfast sandwich, and then I had. It's four uh, o'clock. Don't do it. Yeah, what are you supposed to eat? I, oh, oh! I, by the way, so I was going to tell you, I'm not going to swallow. I'm not he swallowing said, that thing. Please do not forget to have a small meal before eating these peppers to avoid severe stomach. Cramps. Yeah, well, I'm not. And swallowing then said, it, "Hope you enjoy smiley face." I will not. I'm I will not you, be swallowing. Don't eat those peppers. It. Wait, what about chew them and then spit it out? No, don't do it. We're gonna do it. It's just five. He said it only lasts for five to ten minutes. <clears throat> Well, yeah, we're gonna then, we're gonna get through a couple of the shows. Stomach cramps. No, no that's so look, we're, we're I'm doing. not gonna swallow it. Oh my gosh! Because I I did a bunch of you research. Have to swallow it, you're still gonna get some of the juices like in your mouth and go down your throat. No, gonna I'm gonna lean over like this. My face is gonna be melting. <laughs> um. So Nick, I do want to talk a little bit before we get into this, and it ruins the rest of our our outlook on everything. So you grew Getting up in hot, yeah, just yeah. talking yeah, about you're, it. Yeah, you're 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 already getting nervous. Ugh. So you grew up. I'm nervous. My palms sweating. Thank you. In, in the Midwest. Midwest. In the Midwest. Um, They're damp. Palms are damp. And uh, arm spaghetti. I was. I want to know. Aside from indoor paintball fields, like what's the best way? Because I, ju- I I heard a news report today that in Edmonton, where his boys are from, 
it was negative 55 degrees uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't even count that low. I can't even figure out. I don't even know how that would even affect. I saw that thing. I thought I said 50. I thought it was like number 55 to. Oh, number 55. You didn't want me to know who it was. I was like, (laughs) I was trying to think. Who's 55? The coldest I've had in Chicago was negative 40. Um, So how does paintball work when it's negative 40 out? Uh, Nothing works. You don't do anything. You stay inside. Um, Oh, there we go. We got peak, peak. Is from Alberta, and I believe that that is uh, is one of those cold areas. Uh yeah, maybe Alberta. it's minus fifty five Celsius. So yeah, yeah. Um, indoor. Oh, that would make sense. Indoor only. Yeah, it makes sense because it's Canada. But um, yeah, indoors for sure only. But but uh, I, I don't know. So what? When it gets when it gets that cold, dude, you're not going outside. You just don't you're go not, outside. No, you're not going to go play paintball. Right. Just go to a Packers it's game. Safe. It's not safe to be outside at those temperatures. Nothing's open. Uh-huh. But when it's when it's cold here in the winter, uh, there's indoor fields in Wisconsin and Illinois. Okay. Um, and then how how was it just as as for you kind of coming up playing paintball, uh, especially in the Midwest? Because the Midwest did they have uh, they don't really have leagues right now like they do in the rest of the of the I guess nation. There's never there's never been a true regional series like you would like the WCPPL or um, the USXPL or the NEPL mm-hmm. the CFOA mm-hmm. there was years and years ago the CPSA um, Chicago Paintball Sports Association that was run by Forrest Brown out of the original um, uh, what should the uh, I'm going blank on the field that doesn't exist anymore um, CPX Yes, CPX. I know my geography. Uh, there you go. You <laughs> they, they had a they had the um, a huge tournament series that they ran out of there in Badlands. Through Rennick had a series called the Badlands series, always at that field. The CPSA went around to local fields in Northern Illinois and Southern Indiana, or I'm oh, sorry, Southern Wisconsin. But that was really it. Nothing. Nothing's really grown beyond that. I know Virgil from Blast Camp. I believe he's trying to do something. Um, Mike down at uh, Peak and Paintball mm-hmm. has his own league that's there, but uh, they're not like anything um, that you would find. And and I so guess, regionally like that, like I guess yeah, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe I'm just, I'm just misspeaking. Okay. Um, but those like I've gone to. A, I've never been to a WCPPL. I've been to a handful of USXPLs in Texas where they've traveled around different fields. And maybe that's the thing that sets it apart is that they just don't travel around. They've been at the same location. So aside from CPSA, 15 years ago, mm-hmm. there are no regional leagues that uh, go to that different of, right. that travel around. Yeah. That are just like the one thing to play, right? Like the MSXL um, travels from different to different locations, right. but nothing in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, and is, is that and that what what do you think faults is is the fault of that? Because I, I feel like sh- the Chicago land area has a lot of paintball players, um, and I don't know. There's something about it that uh, uh, it just seems like things are kind of getting slower. I mean, you got you got yeah, a great I mean, a bunch of great areas. pros from the from the area, but if they don't have a place to play, you know. Oh, there's that. There's places to play, mm-hmm. and there are plenty of fields to play paintball at. There are a lot of great fields in, in the in the this Midwest area, Chicagoland area, to play paintball at. Whether it's tournament recreational scenario, take your pick. There's plenty mm-hmm. of them. But I think what it really comes down to is someone just just accepting that mantle of responsibility and doing it. Mm-hmm. It's no easy task to do something like that, uh, and then to get you know to one to organize that. And then have to get the fields and locations to work together along then with competing with those other leagues that are at the same place with at this, you know, same fields. They, they're uh, blast camps got turf. Mike at Pekin has two turf fields. Um, like they're great little uh, tournaments series. So you don't have to, you know, break into that and essentially steal those teams away to get them to play your league. I mean, it's just, it wouldn't be an easy thing to do. Hmm. 
Interesting. Definitely not something that I would I would look forward to doing. Dude, you could do it. You're in Minnesota right now. You heard it here first on the Spig and Span show. Nick Sloviak starting his own Midwest paintball league out there once the snow, the the permafrost freezes or, or thaws. And, uh, yeah. You could do uh, paintball on skates on the lake. Uh-huh. We'd love to see that. Get some, some videos of that. Film them vertically now because that's what they're pushing on social media. Get some reels moving and uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's see you strap those skates on and start heading backwards. You got it. I'm on it. Awesome. Well, uh, let's see. Do you have any trivia, Ironman trivia? Are you trying to give something away? What's what's up? Uh, I did not come prepared to do that, but I. But, but next uh, time it's guys, okay. When you guys when you guys come to our tryout. And there we go. That's when that's when we're gonna have some stuff. Okay, in about three weeks, uh, Nick is going to be bringing us uh, some dates for the um the the. Oh, we should save one of those peppers for Fran. For sure, we're gonna put one of these peppers Ooh. in the freezer for Fran. Fran is an animal when it comes to eating hot stuff. He was trying to play it off a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna bring one of these peppers. Do you think we can freeze peppers? I don't want it to go bad. Um, I don't know. I think the skin would go bad. God, I hope those went bad. Because there's too much. There's too much moisture in that. You know, I hope just... they go. You hope they. Oh, you hope they have already gone bad. <laughs> yeah. You're not when they go bad. I don't think they're like less spicy. Yeah, probably. Oh, maybe, maybe. All right, we're gonna put one of these things in the in the in the freezer for Fran. We've got four of them, so uh, maybe when we see you, I think you just put it in the you just put it in the fridge. You don't put it in the freezer. That's what we did. Well, they've been in the fridge, but you think it'll last for three weeks in the fridge? Yeah, maybe. We're gonna find maybe. out. We're gonna dehydrate them. That makes them. That makes it spicier. I think. Why, I think why those, don't you just those did look dehydrated almost. No, they just look like boiling. You wanna see what they look like? Yeah, show the people. All right, let's see. Be I'm careful. Ready. Remember, they burn your burn your nose last time. So, this is the one that Kyle's gonna eat. Ryan was playing with them oh, the other two day. Two different ones. No, Ryan was playing with them and then he touched his nose. What's the, and what's the name of the pepper? Um, they're called, uh, they're called P, pr- prime, uh, Primo Tallis. Those look bigger than when you showed me them the other day. Well, they're Did not you exchange them out for, uh, yeah, exchange the, them out for uh, spicier things. For... It's the size of my fingernail. <laughs> they're tiny. Go. Get that thing out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle needs to eat too. <clears throat> yeah, right. Peak, uh, peak asked if, if Nikki's good with spicy. <sighs> She has to deal with Fran, so uh, I'm sure she could uh, she could eat something spicy too. Those um, look like those ghost pepper pictures you're looking mm-hmm. at. They do, they do. These are gonna be scary. These are definitely gonna be scary. But um, all right, well uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to this here, Nick. So we're gonna need this uh, this command center space. <sighs> but uh, thanks. Excuse me. Do you wanna? Is there any other juicy juicy news or rumors that you need to let us? Come on, hit us right now. This is your chance. This is it. I don't think so. All right, cool. All right, there we go. Let's get a little air horn for Nick, and uh, that was exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. Um, all right, well, thanks, Nick. Appreciate the, you coming on and, and clarifying that the Iron Men are in big trouble. <laughs> just, just as we the suspected. The same rumors that suspected. Yeah. Well, we only thought they only one guy by uh, our account because we didn't think that Nick or Corey are we going to be on the team? Uh, yeah, yeah. But that but was... LJ is gone for sure. We, we confirmed that, and so is John. And we don't know what Celos is going to do yet. So, um, And um, Payton. Payton. And Payton's out of here. Payton's out of here. And Christian. And Christian, and Christian is... So Christian's already been Christian gone. Christian might come to the first practice, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm, 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 uh, I'm allegedly he might come to the first practice. You know I'm, any other allegedly's like you yeah. heard? Yeah, just the... come on. Like Even like, we'll put your... Look... This is not even you talking right now. We'll just cover your face. So like, maybe this is like the the person behind the mask. Who? It's like on Vice. Yeah. It's so like, like nobody knows. How did you it. smuggle fifteen million yeah. pounds of drugs? There we go. Look. There yeah. we go. There we go. So now you can speak with impunity. For allegedly. Yes. Hit us. Uh. I, again, I don't. <clears throat> God damn it. I don't deal. You don't get it. You're not getting it. Okay, so like nobody even know, knows I, it's I you. So like, you don't deal in absolutes. Yeah, yeah. You don't like look. There's no one even knows it's you. So if you're just like, if there was some news that like someone who is not definitely not Nick Sloviak wanted to say, what would no. it? What would what would no. that person say? There's there's nothing. Okay. Because people don't call me to gossip. Okay. What do they call you for? Well, what about some news that you're not allowed to share? <laughs> it's not you saying it. 
which is so if Nick if Nick's not on the phone right now, it's we just called someone else. This is Archie. This, this is Archie. It's Archie talking. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the, the news that I heard is that Ryan Green's should have his own signature. All right, series. here we go. Nick Sloviak, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and the air horn is going. All right, buddy. <laughs> Ryan Green's should have his own. We tried to we tried stuff. to get you something to say something super spicy and juicy and exciting, but we couldn't we couldn't get you to do it, huh? <laughs> All right, Nick. Thanks for here. thanks for dropping by. Thanks for dropping by. Anytime. Anytime. Later. All right, Nick Sloviak, ladies and gentlemen, and with a picture of me as his, uh, as his uh, little, little thing. So Can we call Archie back? No, no, we're not gonna call yeah. Archie. It's, 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 who knows? He's busy. He's always busy. Yeah, he is. If you don't get Archie when he calls you, he's golfing or at dinner or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, real quick, I do want to give away, we're going to give away some prizes, and I, and I don't know what's going to happen when we eat these peppers, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I've been able to hold it together pretty well in the past. Uh, Kyle, on the other hand, not, not so much. So, uh, I do want to get away, get, get some announcements out of the way beforehand. Uh, do you want to grab yourself some milk now? Or, or Yeah. All right, why don't you go pour yourself some milk? No, I'm taking the whole jug. Oh, you're just going to grab the whole jug and just, yeah. just drink it out? What if I need some? I can pour you a glass. You want to pour me a little You bit? said you have oat milk. You want to give me some oat milk? I don't know if I think I need. I think you need dairy. So why? When I said, "Hey, do we? Do you have milk at the house?" Well, and you said, "No, I have oat milk." Well, no, you said, "Do we have uh, milk at the house?" And I said, "No, we have oat milk." And you're like, oh, "Okay, good." I didn't think that you were going to need a quart of milk. I figured like I could have a little bit of your milk. I didn't know you were going to drink all of that milk that you just bought. Okay. okay. Anyway, no, it's fine. Keep I'll me, get keep you. I'll get you some. Keep, oat, keep uh, some regular milk. No, no, I'll get you. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You know, if you don't want to give me any any milk, that's fine. I will definitely do a hoodie giveaway. All right. Uh, can't give you this one, but maybe by next show, I'll have one all to right. give away. So we've got a Tiger Wear uh, hoodie that we're going to be giving away. Um, we've got uh, we've got a Hormesis hat to give away. We've got uh, some sticker sheets. That all mega members are getting in the mail already. We've got uh, yeah oat milk for the win. That's right. Um, and we've got actually James from Island Designs has been playing around with uh, with embroidering the hats here. So we've got a spick and span hat that we're going to be giving away on today's show. This is the acid wash distress. Um, and we're going to give away uh, one, two, three, four of these JT sticker packs. Here and each of the JT sticker packs are going to come with a Spick and Span sticker pack as well. Um, right here, these things are pretty fun. You got a picture of Kyle, picture of myself on there, along with our sponsors, the Champions Club, uh, right there, and uh, big Spick and Span show. These are courtesy of Island Designs. Are we getting we're getting ice too? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Are you using the dinosaur ice cubes? Great, great. Oh, and we are over a hundred. Uh, likes right there and um, we're actually hovering right around 300 members still and uh, if we get to 350 I believe we get to add more emojis uh, so let me do this I'm gonna spin the wheel right now we're gonna jump over to the wheel na wheel of names um, right now and I'm gonna spin the wheel uh, for the five different sticker sheets that uh, that we're gonna be giving away today on the show uh, let's go full screen over here. <clears throat> and let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so we're going to spin the wheel right now uh, to get your name or your name on this gigantic wheel. Uh, you have got to be a member. You got to join the show. And the first winner is going to be Sarah G oh, Thursday. I was close. Mr. Thursday, I think I just sent you a package also. Another winner for the sticker sheets. And I do know that G2 Paintball with Dynasty uh, is also going to be giving us some of their HK stuff. Oh, and I have an HK Army banner uh, that I'm going to be giving away on today's show. That one's pretty cool. Sticker sheet, sticker sheet, sticker sheet. Going to Mr. Michael Lee. Ooh, oh, just straight up ice cubes. 
Well, I just I'm prepping for like emergency worst case that you need. He's got a bowl of ice cubes, a bunch of milk. And the final sticker sheet is going to be going to Chris Oliver. Okay. So before we jump uh, over there to that, um, let's close this one. Um, also, we have uh, we have given away a large chunk of uh, of prizes over the course of the uh, the series, the show so far. And uh, Randall Cupton, yes, you did. You won something, my man. Make sure you guys that I have your addresses, please. Uh, there are some mega, super mega support status members whom I do not have addresses for, and therefore cannot ship out your welcome package or your 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 winner your package that you got i don't know if you want one of these what? <laughs> i'm just prepping. you want to get like a smaller bowl uh maybe i mean like i mean you might be throwing are you throwing up like no, he's getting really so. prepped right now um so uh paintball for life if you i believe have already been a a, a, a subscriber or a member if you guys are already members or subscribers then you're you're already on there um Oh, yep. Welcome to the sport. I'm going to put your name on there right now. Um, so, yeah, you guys, if, uh, if I don't have your address, you can send it to me via email, um, ryangreenspan18 at gmail.com, or you can send it to one of the two of us via Instagram or Facebook, and we'll add your name to the list. There are a ton of prizes that went unclaimed this year, um, <clears throat> and, uh, and that is sad. It is very sad. Hats, signed cards... Uh, let's see here. One person miss, uh, missed out on a coin dual coin, microfibers, the bands, the GT jersey. Uh, let's see here. What else was, let's see, another hat, um, some shirt packages, all sorts of stuff. I know a couple of you guys missed out on winning pants. I know goggles were, were re-gifted, lots of Hormesis coins, um, lots of signature cards, all sorts of stuff got thrown back into the pile because I don't have everybody's addresses. So uh, let's make sure those uh those addresses get um updated please so let me put paintball for life here on uh on the list also um everybody who donates to today's show uh is going to be entered into a contest and you're going to win either an hk army pack or hk army pants um so everybody who has donated the f one two three let's see four of you three or four of you guys who have donated your names are already in the drawing it doesn't matter what amount you donate um but anything that you throw in there will automatically be entered into a drawing so right now you have a pretty good chance of winning something very cool uh for the end of the season end of the year uh donation so uh yep nice little do nice little uh bonus for those of you who are already donating can you grab a pen mm -hmm. real quick um and Thank you very much. Let's go. Okay. So who, the real question is who's going to be eating the first, uh, do you need something to write on? Uh, no, no, I got a pen or I got things. So, uh, let's go here. The Primo Tali peppers. Um, these, <laughs> Why don't you just read from what he sent you? These Anna? are... What's that? What he sent you. I, I already did. Yeah, yeah. Please do not forget to have a small Oh, meal. I thought that what he... Uh, what he also he said entire you. pepper... Um, oh, yeah. He said excruciating pain. He did say that. So He said he eats a lot of peppers. And, and this, this was, was like, the hottest one. I'm like already shaking. Here you go. You put it on my laptop. Yeah. Thank you. So I can touch that later. I'm not eating the biggest one. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> Thought he was slick. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Cheers. God damn it. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Richard Earn, mess, uh, smart man, getting back, getting yourself back in the uh, in the on the list here. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is a danger zone. Do you want to eat one of these? 
Oh. Wow. Whoosh. Did you just sneak in she here? She was like sneaking in. Wow, good job, Sloan. Did she, how'd she get in here? I think she came in, in the, the back, back door. door. Smart. That was too. quiet. That was quiet. She's a little ninja. All right. So uh, the donations are coming in. We do appreciate you guys. This is a, a great uh, happy holiday um, edition. Uh, uh, how do you donate? That's a very good question. I think that there's a uh, there's a money sign down there. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I've no, I, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Are you gonna you need to put the whole thing in your mouth? I think I, I yeah. Just put it in too. the back. You gotta eat it from the molars. You can't. No, just, I'm not putting just, it in the back. I'm just gonna eat it like I'm gonna bite this thing off. Are you gonna bite the whole? But you can't just float it around in your mouth. You gotta chew it. Okay. You gotta chew it. We gotta chew it for at least. Okay, you could swallow yours. Okay, I'm not saying that we have to swallow it, but what we do have to do is. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> All right, ready, go. All right. So it was instantly hot. It was like it was like instantly hot. Okay, it's in there. We can just probably spit it out now. Mm -mm. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swallow that. Why? What will happen? D uh, Whoa! And I'm still swallowing it. Oh my gosh, here it goes. He's sweating. <sighs> uh, so. <sighs> oh man, that is that is that is. Here he goes. <laughs> well, Kyle, let's get your first. Uh, uh, let's get your first. <sighs> uh uh. Oh my God. So let's get your initial, initial thoughts on this. Ha! Ah. So it's really. Ah, it's so hot. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Um, this is for sure the. Ha! Huh. What? <laughs> uh uh. Woo! Oh, oh my god. <sighs> <clears throat> Sloan does not like this. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm gonna try to do five minutes. You said five minutes, no relief. Oh my god. You're getting hotter. Oh, this hurts. <clears throat> my I just heart inhaled going. some. <laughs> oh my god. So, this is definitely hotter than the. So this is a, this is called a, primatoli pepper. This is. If I have to take you guys to the hospital, I'm gonna be. Quiet so down back there. Upset. My eyes are red. Oh my god. Ah. So this is a hundred percent Kyle's idea. I didn't want to do this. I would rather eat that fish thing. I'm getting dizzy. I don't know how you can talk. Okay. So. <sighs> I thought you were trying to go five minutes. <laughs> I can't do it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Whoa, I am dizzy. Oh. <sighs> It's getting hotter. Ah, dude, they, what's wrong with this kid, Bruce? If you're watching this, you're in. You're in, there's something wrong with you. So Bruce messaged me and said, "I just ate one of these things the other night." Camille, try one of these. It's not that bad. Uh. -uh. Whoa. So I'm super dizzy. Let's go with these ice cubes. Mm. Uh. So, uh, Bruce Cook is watching right now. Um, so I decided not to swallow it, and I think it was smart of us not to swallow it because I can't imagine. It's already I already feel it in my chest right here from the little bits that I did swallow, and I felt some. Some seeds in the back of my throat, and I was like trying to fish them out of there, but oh those God. went down the. 
Those went down the hatch. Woo! So, okay, on a... <laughs> so, in a, okay, so give us a, give us like a... I can't talk or breathe. It gets hotter. My yeah. tongue numb. <laughs> I don't think I could talk right. Oh, my God. Ooh, milk cubes. That's what we should do next time. Mm-hmm. But the problem is Kyle didn't show up until two minutes before the show started. Um, it doesn't hurt when you breathe? Yeah, yeah. No, it actually starts hurting when you start talking more. Woo! Whoa. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. So, this is pretty bad. And then, like, the whole side of my lips. Uh. Oh, peanut butter. So, and we also have this hormesis ornament. We're gonna give away. I think this is the move right here. Uh. Mm. Mm. You're gonna coat your entire mouth in peanut butter. This is the move here. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. So, it's so hot. Ah. It's hot. So. I think it's a little spicy. It's way spicier in the mouth area than the peanut brutal was. Why? Why? Uh, it's hot, Sloan. So um, we're gonna go ahead, Fran, Nikki. If you guys are watching this, I know that I know that Nikki's mom watches this. Send a message to Nikki. Let her know that we've got two peppers for Fran. Oh. Yeah, um, we've got we've got some stats here from Antonio Montes. We've got 2.2 million Scovilles in one of these things, while a habanero is only half a million. So this is about four, almost four and a half times, four and a quarter times hotter than a habanero. Whoa! So, so that was fun. Okay, so Kyle, are we gonna eat something hot and spicy again? Oh my god! I'm waiting for Jonas to send us that that stinky fish. I really want to try the fish. I think the fish is the move. Um, if anybody else, we can mail one of these to you. If you want to eat it, gotta swallow it though. If anybody, whew. Oh. Oh. all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was over. All right. So, just as a quick recap. He said five minutes. This has got to be at least. I don't know. When do we start eating that? Let me see. Oh, his chest is a little hot. Oh, I like. <laughs> Sean Jackson. Jackman is loving this right now. Um, seven, Ryan Matthews said he'll do it. Ago? Anton says he'll do it right now. Todd Roberts says he'll do it. Uh, and, okay. So, I'm going to mail this one. Ryan Matthews, you are on the hook. For one of these things and I'm gonna actually have Bruce uh, grow us some more and what I need everybody to do is you got to film it you got to upload it to Dropbox um, we're, we're asking that you swallow it I think we save one of these for Fran right or do we mail both of these out I think we save one for Fran we save that we save one for Fran but he's not that interesting with it oh he's going to be this is way hotter than that chip was for sure it has to be um, Yes, and we'll we'll make sure it's on the on the fan page, but we I'm definitely we're gonna we're gonna um <laughs> we're definitely gonna share it here on the show first. So I know a lot of you guys, Ryan Matthews, this is coming your way. I know that you uh, you definitely said you'll totally do this. Uh, oh, hot. Um, I'm gonna send it to you because I know that you're right up in in Sacramento, so you'll have it. Uh, if I put it in the mail tomorrow, you're gonna have this on Friday. We're going to film it, we're going to have the video by the weekend, and we're going to post it this time next Tuesday for the new year. You can't think of a better New Year's resolution to start your year off spicy. How are you talking so well? I don't know how you talk so well. I don't know. I guess someone's got to do it. I'm digging really deep here. Oh, Can we, let's, get some, let's get some news. What do we got? Uh, got just, just, um... What? I don't know. Uh, I don't have any news. We've got... Uh, I, don't, I don't have any news. You said all the news. 
the negative 55 in uh, Edmonton. I heard it's way hotter in my mouth. <laughs> it's hotter in Kyle's mouth than it is in Edmonton, Alberta. That is for sure, my friend. Oh, this is the raffle page. Oof. Um, what were? <laughs> it could be the peanut butter. You want to try some of this peanut butter? There you go. Get a nice little lick of that. Just make sure it gets all through the mouth. <laughs> Shout out to Dizon again. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I'm really my hair. Oh my god. It's incredibly hot in the back of my mouth right here. Still. Um, You'd be surprised how many people say before you this. Do not eat that. Like Nick. Yeah, don't, don't eat it. Yeah. It's, it hits you. comes on you. Hit, this hit me fast. It was... Right when I bit it off, because I bit it off with my two front teeth, and then the whole pepper went just because I threw it back to my molars because I wanted to give it a couple of good grinds. And um, uh, you're morphing. It into was soon as like right when I breathed in. <laughs> right when I took the bite though, and I started to transfer the pepper, the half a second that it took to get to the back uh, of my ooh. mouth, it was incredibly hot. And then those bites were just, um, uh, um, yeah, it was crazy. Well, we only have two of these peppers left. We're hoping that Bruce Cook. Uh, cooks us up some more of these and we can maybe get some out to a couple of you guys. Uh, Bruce, we will definitely uh, uh, shoot you a little donation for, for shipping and for the uh, the uh, the utility bills to get the grow lamps rock, rolling at full tilt to get some of these things. Uh, we've got some interest in seeing if Camille will try one of these things. Um, Camille raised her, her prices though. Cause yeah, her price went she up. She didn't realize how fast you guys were going to donate 100 yeah, she said a hundred bucks last time, and then you guys hit her with a hundred bucks in like ten seconds, uh, which we I paid her. I gave her the hundred bucks, uh, and then you guys donated more than that. So which how we're much? Stoked for. So how much? How much do you want these peppers? It's not that bad. I'm. I'm it's like it was. It, it comes on you fast and leaves you fast. One thousand. Not gonna give you a thousand bucks. Not happening. <sighs> not happening. Too much. Enjoy. Okay. Should I um, eat another one for five hundred? <laughs> You're missing would, out, Camille. Would you, would you swallow it? Uh, I don't know. That's tough. Swallow it. for If you chew it in your mouth, in your mouth for 30 seconds and swallow it for 500 bucks. Would you do it for 500? Uh, I don't know. That's a, that, I don't think so. <laughs> I read that's like, I don't know, man. I, just, I don't know. What? You want to do it for 500? Yeah. Because then you can buy a pony. She said that you have her milk. This is yours? You can have it. Kyle. It might be spicy rim. So, <laughs> swallow for 500. You probably don't want it. <laughs> um, all right. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it might come in here. Can you guarantee you're going to swallow it for, for 500 bucks? Hi, hon. Camille or me? No, you. I didn't say that. Oh, but I'm asking. Swallow. I'm just asking. Would you swallow it for five hundred? Like chew and swallow five hundred bucks. That's a good. I don't that's know. A big, that's a big. That's I don't a big go, number. That might be hospital trip. What? It might be hospital trip. No, you're not gonna go to the what? hospital. I could swallow it for a thousand dollars. That's like gonna get me skinny. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be sick because you're not gonna eat. Who are you throwing stuff at? All right, so we'll um. We'll, we could talk. save it to next. Kyle might be for might be for real. <laughs> look at, look at I did some research. <laughs> uh, you did some research on what? Swallowing the peppers. Yeah, what happens? No good. That's where the trouble begins. Well, you got some ulcers that could happen. You could maybe get some some stomach ulcers, but you know, uh, yeah. Todd Roberts would do it for a jersey Heart or attack. a pro flex. So. I'll endure like some oh some pain. The peppers were actually yeah you're like the microwave. So we were actually hiding the peppers in the microwave. Um, but we do have I did find this in Sloan's little coloring thing we're gonna give away today. I know it's a little late to hang on your Christmas tree, but this is a Sloan Greenspan original painted hormesis ornament. So uh, this can go kind of anywhere. Maybe you hang, dangle it from your your uh, car windshield. Um, I don't recommend doing that. It might impede your vision, so I don't want you guys to get in any car accidents. But you can do with this what you'd like. Let me actually, you know what we're going to do right now is... Uh, Damn, someone said eat too. 1,200 cash out. 
Kyle E2? No way. Dude, 1,200 cash app. Molly's going hard right now. <laughs> um, and Anton, I will definitely have Sloan sign the back of this. I'm actually going to give this as a bonus um, item there too because this was uh this was not on the original list here this is going to go as a bonus item to everybody who just um donated so i'm going to put your names right here on the wheel of names and uh everybody <laughs> no you're hot you're not going to go to the hospital if you eat two of those things maybe bruce bruce do you think you're going to go to the hospital are you still in here um yeah sloan ate the sloan uh, ate all of those things. So uh, right now, if you have donated to the show already, your name is on the list. You're on the wheel. I'm about to spin it right now for your ornament, and then I'm going to spin it uh, at the end of the show for a uh, a little a big big giveaway. The, uh, the pants you're going to have your choice: of pants or a HK Army pack, both brand new. Um, pants are only medium or. Uh, uh, Camille might eat, uh, eat right, for twelve hundred. Going right here is Mister. Oh, almost loyal blue flag. Hergon the Great is going to be winning this thing. Your name stays on here. Um, so Hergon, you're getting this uh, ornament sent to you, uh, and possibly, possibly. Yeah, Bryce or Bruce said. Uh, he will end up in the hospital eating two of those. I don't... Oh, Bruce said that? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bruce is actually our resident... Don't um, do it. ...spicy person. You know when sometimes you go to, like, a restaurant and they have, like, something really, really spicy and make you sign that waiver? Mm-hmm. Because that's when you're ingesting. Dude, the, It's like, the, if you spit it out, it's not that bad dude, issue, the, but it, like... The whole left side of my mouth is numb. Oh. That's crazy. That is crazy. My tongue just started coming back the way I could talk. And I'm going to have Sloan sign this one for you, Hergon. Um, that is wild. Man. So, um, yeah, so Anton, apparently you don't want to you don't want to swallow these things. Um, well, you can. Wow. If you want to go to the hospital. It's like Russian roulette for your tummy. Yeah, that's true. I mean... My my stuff after the if you guys have not had a chance to watch the uh, eating terrible things challenge with the peanut brutal, uh, I suggest you go back and check that out this holiday. Yeah, season. you remember what happened there? Yeah, it was uh, it was it was not good. It was not good. We were about like ten more minutes of pain before needing to go to the hospital. Um. Yeah, that was close. If like like Alex said, um. Uh, or you were like, or what you said is, is uh, if we had felt like that after we had dined at a regular restaurant um, afterwards, we would have gone to the hospital. If we didn't know that we actually had already, we had actually poisoned ourselves, mm -hmm. we would have certainly gone to the hospital. So, ah, I feel great now because I just survived poisoning myself. You know, that's mm -hmm. the Oliver Lang poison frog theory, right? Mm -hmm. It's like he would inject himself with the poison frog, dart frog poison, and, uh, at, and he's like, no, you feel so good when it's over. Like, it's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, because you poisoned yourself and you're no longer poisoned. His like after that week mangled, long like, uh, Montezuma's Revenge I got from Mexico, I felt great. So great. Yeah, amazing. you should get that again. You're going to feel amazing at mm -hmm. the end once once you're not sick anymore. So, um, yeah. Um, oof. So, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce, you got a lot of fans here. Stomach cramps will cause the real stomach cramps. Yeah. Um, we need to get you selling these things. He's got family in that will definitely uh, get get those things. Bottle of Pepto Bismol for uh, for Mr. Kyle. Do you do you have Pepto here, Tums? Uh, I think we ate them all. Okay, so uh, maybe we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you were almost to the five hundred dollars if you had said you had swallowed one of these things. And this one's tiny too. You would you swallow one. it though for five hundred? I, I actually already said no. I would not. Oh, you said no. I wouldn't even. I don't even know. If I mean, I'd probably eat it again. I don't know. Maybe I'd swallow it. I would probably swallow it if push came to shove. If there was five hundred dollars sitting right here, you would too. Ruth, do you think it would be as hot the second time ate, if we ate one right now? Like, it, or is we... it as hot the second time? Um. So 
Yeah, so Todd Roberts, these are actually, I think these are actually hotter than Carolina Reaper peppers, and I gotta stop touching these things. God damn it. Um, and Michael Lee, if we could get Camille to do it for five hundred bucks, I would, I would, I would pitch in for that five hundred bucks to watch her eat this thing. Camille, we do it for five hundred dollars. We can maybe make five hundred dollars for it. Ah, eight hundred, six hundred. Nope. Hmm. Um, and Sloan Jacob, said ten, I think. Sloan, Sloan, will mom do it for five hundred bucks? So Sloan just said yes. I did hear that. I did hear that, and Sloan does speak for Camille. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, um, yeah, we need to we need to get something in our uh, in our uh, our bodies to to soak up this stuff. I'm, so, I'm starting to like the spicy challenges in what? a sick way. You are sick. I mean, I that was that was like a solid five to seven minutes of, of excruciating pain. That was. It was like awful. But we're good now. Are you good now? Yeah, I mean, now I, that, now that like you can even you probably even do it for three hundred bucks. I just like the uh, Let's well make the, a deal, the baby. peanut Let's make a deal. the peanut brutal thing was like so horrendous because we swallowed it and it was for a long time. Yeah, that last that was like a 45, 50 minute ordeal, but. That's like really bad pain, but at least like I don't feel like I'm gonna, I might actually die. Right, right, right. We feel pretty good. I mean, I swall, I ingested a good amount with my saliva because uh, I can feel it right here. There's there's a fire of pain right here. Yeah. Uh, and yes, I felt dizzy. Did you feel really dizzy? Yeah. Like, yeah. like I was just like, it was like hard to focus. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you had a, hard, a difficult time talking. Yeah, um, I always have a difficult time. <laughs> 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 so that was pretty funny anyway um before we get into the end of the giveaways uh do you but yeah bruce said we have quite a, he said you have a bit of tolerance now so the second time is not as hot oh there we go there we go so yeah. you swallow it for 500 bucks yeah no not swallow you heard that I'm not you swallowing would. it you would no because that's going to be a whole different type of um. beast <laughs> Let's give a shout out to Gary Paul Jr.'s daughter, Mia, uh, for, for maybe joining in on the show. Um, and I want to, so we've got a, we've got an HK, sorry, a Tiger uh, Wear hoodie, an HK Army banner uh, to give away. Also the, uh, the Spick and Span hat and the Hormesis hat. So I'm going to go over to the Wheel of Names right now and uh, we're going to spin the wheel. I get paintball for life. I'll make sure he's on that wheel. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to... Yeah, right there. Yep, there he is. There he is. So we're going to spin the wheel right now for those of you guys uh, who are going to be in the running for a Spick and Span hat, a Hormesis hat, an HK Army banner. And you know what? We're going to do the Tiger Wear hoodie. Let's do that for the mega, super mega support status members uh, on this one. On this one? Yeah, yeah. This, this sh you're going to give away a Tiger Wear banner or hoodie. In the future, though, the, because... When it comes out. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll do it. that. We'll do that. Or you want to give it away now? Or no, no, I don't have out? it right now, so, yeah. yeah. But you said you want to give it away. Yeah, I said we'll maybe the next now. show. Oh, on the next show? Yeah, I said the next well, show, but... You tell me what you want to do. You want I to said next there? show or maybe the next show. Oh! That. Yeah, I didn't say this show. I'm still a little loopy. It's okay. 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 Next show. So we're going to do the HK Army banner, then. Molly uh, Gohard's throwing a lot of money, but I don't know, not... I haven't never seen your name in here before. You're throwing a lot of money out. It's yeah. kind of hard. It's a little untrustworthy. Um, but what, what's the fifteen hundred dollars for? I don't just, understand. Just up in the ante. Well, I think that th that's the five hundred bucks. We almost had him at five hundred bucks. Um, so I don't know. Oops. And uh, I mean, you send me fifteen hundred bucks right now, cash up. I'll eat one of these. Yeah, if you're gonna swallow it too. Yeah, I'll swallow. I'll swallow. I think if you send him five hundred bucks, he's gonna eat. Maybe seven fifty, he'll probably swallow it. I'll give you my, I'll give you my cash app and everything. He's not gonna, he's not gonna kill himself. Um, well, well, let's get, a, let's get the, uh, let's get the, the, uh, the firm offer on what it's gonna cost to eat one more and what it's gonna cost to you swallow. Said fifteen hundred bucks. One. Yeah, I know, but let's just say what's like the, what's like the floor. Because if it's the, maybe like they're like, oh, shoot. no, I saw fifteen hundred. That's the, that's what oh, I'm that's going with. That's now yeah. great. You just up the ante too much. And now we're not going to do it. It's not fifteen hundred bucks. I mean, I'll eat one there for fifteen hundred bucks. 
So I guess if uh, let's see how hard Molly really goes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess if Kyle gets fifteen hundred dollars is your is your final answer now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, eat, I'll eat one of those. Okay. Another one of those bad boys. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I'd probably I'd venture to say like I I would I would raise you <laughs> by lowering it yeah, undercover yeah. pizza. You. Yeah. I'd probably I mean, eat that thing for less than that. A thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna swallow it though. Are you gonna swallow it for fifteen hundred bucks? I mean, I guess I'd you have, have to. to. Yeah, yeah. You have to. that's you a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I will eat that without swallowing it for five hundred bucks easily. Um, but no, I don't think that's gonna happen. And please don't send me five hundred dollars. Anyway, uh, uh, real quick, thank you guys all tremendously for the support. Molly goes quiet. <laughs> Molly goes quiet. <laughs> um. Michael Lee, we might be able to do that for the the whole Intel session. No, yeah, we only have two. Ba- yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, Marcelo bit off like a small little little chunk one time. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, and uh, Mr. Stormweb, and I saw this question actually earlier. Uh, now that I believe that the last two Mac Dev teams that were um uh pro sponsor teams both went to lux the oh, yeah. dlx ml kings uh yeah ml kings they're both going to dlx that means there's no more uh mac dev teams and dynasty is the only pro team uh being sponsored by field one and that's actually going to stand at least for the 2022 season perhaps if we can ramp up our production now just so everybody knows one great thing about field one is all of our products are made within the united states now the circuit board and the little screws but the design the machining of the entire body grip frame all of that stuff um and the assembly and the bolt system all of the main components to the gun uh with the exception of the actual board and that actually even might be made in the U.S. But I think that the and the little tiny screws that go in the uh, grip panels, uh, everything else is made in the United States. Um, so uh, that's one great thing about uh, what Bob Long used to do is everything was made in the U.S. and uh, and we make everything in the United States as well. What I'm getting at is uh, production within the United States is very difficult uh, to get machine time. Most U.S. companies are uh, uh, taken up by um, <laughs> Can I swallow one for new force? Taking up time by military grade stuff or medical devices and stuff. So what I'm getting at is we don't ship our stuff over to seas to be to be manufactured, which uh, uh, obviously you would be able to have a much larger capacity um, for production. And with that said, we don't have that. Uh, so we're still an artisan small shop uh, and uh, <clears throat> boutique, and high, boutique end electric. high end electric. You know something you'd find at Bloomies. <laughs> Possibly at the uh, salon section at Nordstrom. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. that's where we're at, and we're gonna stay there as well. And we are working on a, uh, a G7R platform that is still a ways out. We've uh, we put all of our input into what we want, um, and it's just a matter of time to uh, to get it engineered. And that does take some time. So yeah, and we do 3D print some things, but you can't play with a 3D printed body uh, for structural and uh, and liability. Uh, problems <laughs> so yeah we're working on all of this stuff for you guys a mech gun all that stuff remember it is just uh the four of us there and i'm not even in the office so there's just three guys really working at the at the shop yosh is and alex are building everything with their nimble little hands well alex has the nimble little hands <laughs> yosh has got the rugged yeah yosh um, is screwing the bolts yeah the yes yes exactly mm-hmm. exactly um so yeah that's that's what's going on there <laughs> um so let me jump over here to the wheel of names, and we are going to spin the wheel here for, we've got a Spick and Span hat and a Hormesis hat, and that is going to be going right now, Ooh, we've already started spinning, uh, Spick and Span hat right now, this is who's winning it, is Mr. Flores. Congrats. Whoops. Good job, Earl. And for the next hat, we've got coming in strong is going to be Mr. Bo. No, 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 no. Jacob? Allen? Allen? Is it Allen? No, it's Gideon or all. There we go. All right. And, okay, that is, uh, and then we've got one more. 
Um, HK Army Banner is going to go out to the Mega. One Mega member is going to be getting an HK... <laughs> Todd Roberts, yeah. It is... Uh, the, the wheel has gotten big. There are 306 members on there. Um, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, I got a good way to give the, the Tiger Wear hoodie away. Okay. We, we could give them a week... To try to figure out what that exact number was oh. for the total amount of uh, okay, okay, that's the right. The value of what we've given away, approximately. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and the closest person to the number mm -hmm. could get it. Which, I mean, that's pretty. That's, that's all a precise stuff, number. That's all stuff we've given away up until this date, which, and I can include today's. But prices. once accessible, that you could, if someone like really wanted to try, they could like go and watch. They would have to watch every giveaway and write, all and write down every item, and then come up with an approximate retail value. So we have an approximate retail value here that I wanted to give um, uh, everybody an opportunity to uh, to guess at. Um, and uh, whoever either got the closest um, by next week, or yeah, do we, let's or do see we, just, we have everybody tune in next week. Yeah, tune and, in next and throw week, in the guess, and then guesses. we'll and then we'll uh, look at the guesses. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, they have to wait. They don't. They don't guess now. They don't guess now. Okay, next week we're gonna be giving away, um, and I'm gonna add to this based on what we've given away on this show. So if you're watching now, you get a head start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything that we've given away on the Spick and Span show up into... Uh, there's some great numbers in there. Um, people are... I mean, has to be around, somewhere around. Um, yeah, anyway. It's probably week, like over... It's probably like over 5,000, but like under 40,000. Under, it's definitely under forty thousand. Yeah, yes. somewhere yes. in like. And we're not. If I was to make a guess, and we're right? not including the uh, almost eight thousand dollars that we raised for charity this year. Also, we're not including that into the total. Just prize. Um, we're total. And so we're not. And we're not including the prizes that were given away into that. Uh, a lot of you guys are still. Uh, that stuff's still in the mail. I went to the I went to the post office today and yesterday with big old boxes of uh, of stuff uh, for them. So anyway. Uh, and then the HK Army banner. I'm going to spin that for our, uh, our mega members because I want to give the mega members something special. Uh, super mega support status members all should be getting in the mail uh, their sticker sheet and band uh, for this month. And we're working on some more stuff to bring you guys. So mega members, we're spinning right now. Let's jump over here to the wheel. One of you lucky mega members are going to be getting, it looks like Kevin Harker. Oh, is it Kevin Harker? Oh, it's Kenneth Parker. So close, Kevin. <laughs> Kenneth Parker in the mail you will be receiving. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There we go. There we go. You will be receiving an HK Army banner. I'll sign it, the whole deal. Um, and uh, you can put it to get good use because unfortunately we are not going to be uh raising the hk army flag anymore so uh yeah it's just the uh jt flag the jt flag we're looking for a jt flag also i've got my jt build coming up are you about to eat that thing should you hang these on the christmas tree <laughs> really low <laughs> uh yeah rip jet john madden i just saw that as well and let's see, I want to give a, another special, special thanks uh, to everybody who's a member of the show. We've, like I said, we've got over 306 of you. Uh, 125 of you are all, uh, 124 exactly, are uh, super mega support status members. So we definitely appreciate all of you guys uh, a whole heck of a lot. Um, this is the reason that, uh, one of the reasons that we do the show, obviously, is to have fun, eat terrible things. But it's all <laughs> for you guys. Um, and that's why we do it is, uh, is for you guys. I appreciate and, you guys. And, uh, yes. All the support. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and read off all of our members who have been on with us for over a year or more. We've got Sean Byrne. We've got Ed Dizon, Tubba Rock, Sean Dolan, Joe Pike, Fort Key 66, Steve Segovia, Callie Mike Lou, Gabe Martinez, Mario Trujillo, what up? Jay Stu. Jay Stu. He's still there. Matt Frietas, Web Weverton, Jace Bernab, John Washburn, Slarion, Mario Zumbo, Michael B., Jeff Santo, Loyal Blue Fox, 
Fernando Contreras, Jeff, Jacob Cardiff, Maui Rockstar, Davis Jedfrey, Edward Moulter, Spanky Snipe. We should have eaten a pepper and read all these things off. Oh, George yeah. Martinez, Brandon Fissette, Sour Monkey, Brandon Dillon, Max Alderton, Bernardo73, Eric Federson, Robert Marotti. Almost done. Rick Williams, Kev Swiss, Matt Waters. Let's get some music going while we're doing this. We're winding things down here. Set the mood. Matt Waters, Edward Trogdon, Tabletop Squires, Stephen Hernandez, Gene Fountain, Thomas Gay, Earl Flores. Uh, also, so you guys know, everybody who is a one-year member, you have a special little icon uh, next to your name. I'm going to have to create a new one for you guys because we're coming up. Uh, some of you are going to be on two years pretty soon here. Stephen Perry, David Reed, Teal Team 5, Hergon the Great. Congratulations, Hergon. You also won tonight. Jay McCon, Quentin Lyons. Quentin, shout out. Uh, oh, I was actually drinking out of your coffee mug that you gave me. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Earlier. New York Fearful, Chris Taylor, Alex uh, Spina. Alex, you're 11 months, but you get one because I was just didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost there. You're almost there. So thank you guys tremendously for all of your support over the over the years um, or the year or more because some of you were even with us uh, through the Facebook time. Yeah. Uh, check the links. We're going to be almost up on Whoa. two years. Oh, when, yeah. I, 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 <coughs> I just got a thing. second wave. Yeah. I just swallowed it's something. It's like on there on your tongue or something. Yeah, like it was on the back of my molar. Still spicy. I'm gonna get some chips. You know what we could do? Uh, if you need some chips, the one, there's a hot chip up there. The hot chip challenge. <laughs> if you need a chip. But two, we could eat that as the next, we could split it. The hot chip challenge? Yeah, in future show. Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm going to the dark side, I think, with this. <laughs> to see how hot we can go. Um, well, anyway. Not looking forward to that. Uh, also, our calendars are open and booking up for the 2022 season. If you, your team, uh, your field, your friend's field, your store, anything would like to book something with us. <laughs> he got Stockholm Syndrome, they said. Um, <laughs> if you guys would like to book anything uh, with us for training um, uh, for your team or your We'd be happy to come out and eat some spicy stuff. At yeah, your, we'll, at your, we'll uh, pack some peppers. <laughs> I'll pack a pack of pick of peppers. Um, and, uh, yeah. We're, we're, uh, <laughs> uh, no more peppers. I don't even want to talk about it right now. Yeah. And I, and I believe, yeah, the ski, the, uh, the schmo, the schmo, <laughs> the pepper we just ate is way worse than the Pocky challenge. Although neither of the faint of heart. Well, we are, uh, yeah. Eat this from the fermented shark. That's what I was hoping to get some sort of stinky fish. I don't like that. You, you I, I, I mean, I don't know the, the that stuff's just. Yeah, I guess they're all bad. But they're all bad. They are all bad. I think the worst one was the what was it? The balut. That was the grossest, but it didn't taste the worst. Yeah. So, um or mean, the egg. The egg didn't taste it tasted chalky, but it wasn't the worst. But the worst experience by far, peanut brutal. Peanut brutal challenge. Was that number 1 too? No. Uh no, 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 no. The first one we ever did was the egg. Was the egg. Yeah, that's right. And then all of our Shout out to everybody for the Filipino fan base that we got going on here. Dizon, Earl, um, everybody out there, for, uh, Ferdinand. Um, because it was you guys are the reason that we ate the balut. Mm -hmm. So by shout out, I mean shame on you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I actually have the pick of pepper sauce. Uh, I've got uh, Lavina Paintball sends it out and gives me a special uh, gift package. Uh, every several months with some sauce. Mm. I got the good stuff. They give me the good stuff. And the uh, Scotch Bonnet pepper sauce. So anyway, thank you guys tremendously for all of your support. Um, this 2021 was, uh, was you know, it was fantastic uh, for the Spigots Band Show and for other things and paintball. You know, sometimes everybody's got their own little thing going on. Here's to a great, fantastic 2022. Make your New Year's uh, a special one and be safe, everybody. Happy New Year's, guys. Thank you.